how do we imagine new and interesting ways of being with one another to support each other through an increasingly volatile world? I'm convinced that, that it is amongst those at the periphery of society, uh, amongst migrants like me, uh, but particularly amongst uh, migrant artist collectives that I will find interesting models of support. Uh, this morning, I'm reaching out again to Antonio de Souza, uh, the co-founder of uh, Migrant Artist Collective in Ireland, uh, for a short recorded conversation about my current research on ideas about the exercise of support. Hello, Antonio, how are you? Hi, Raj, I'm very well. Yourself? Thank you for joining me again this morning. You're welcome. So Lovely. I want to start, uh, I'll get, get straight into the, uh, to the deep end of this. Um, I want to start talking to you about our meetings uh, when we get together. We are, we are on a, on a, a large project right now. We've been working together for the last few months. Um, and we've had uh, a bunch of meetings uh, with and without mentors. What are, what are the things that we we do, uh, Antonio? And you, you might have noticed that um, we we tend to meander. Uh, um, and we 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 are neither lost or without purpose, but we tend to get <laughs> caught up in little loops and little stumbles and little details. And but and and, and everyone in the room gets get space to speak, to be heard. It's often, uh, sometimes I find it a little fr frustrating. I don't know about you, Antonio. Uh, but I'm starting to realize that perhaps that there is something in this, in this meander that we do, that, 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 that we are not walking or running across, cutting across the landscape, uh, but we are working towards something was another kind of depth, you know, another kind of yeah. uh, way of coming together by moving slow, uh, by seeing things close up, by lingering in the details, uh, by lingering with each other, with the details, you know. Um, and, and, and I think that somehow, in a sense, in, in, it, it occurred to me that, 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 uh, by 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 meandering, we are not trying to get somewhere else as much as we're trying to get to know where we are. What do you think, uh, Antonio? Okay, so yeah, yeah, very interesting perspective there. Yeah, um, for me, there has been times because you, you say for, for a few months, but I guess it's been sort of a, 10, 11 months now, maybe we've been working um, remotely, let's say that, uh, which has, has its own challenges, we know. Um, and before that, just even the fact that we had two sort of group exhibitions, as small as they were, we didn't really have much um, communication or contact with each other. So this period of time for me, I think has been Exactly, it's very similar to what you're saying. To, to, we are finding our way with the group. We are finding our way with individuals, how people respond, how people take on maybe sometimes leadership roles or can, can maybe dominate uh, conversations. Some people sit back sometimes. So this to and in throwing, and I know, step in and find in our way I think we're all doing that in our own individual ways we're coming from many our own sort of cultural backgrounds our own histories our own experiences all those things our own design disciplines art and design disciplines which are so varied so to jump in and to say right well this is what I think or um I think we should do it like this or yeah that's a great idea um Sometimes people will be more tentative about that, tentative about that and, and hold back and just wait to see what the consensus is or what the majority is to, to feel comfortable 
um, with somebody else. I quite I find quite a lot that um, people find allies with each other. Um, so yeah, I really liked what you said there, Raj. Or I agree with Roxana. Or yeah, Mohammed, that's a brilliant idea. So this sort of um, finding finding sort of almost yeah, reassurance. I think a lot of it is about reassurance in each other, even though we have our own practices. Um, a lot of it for me is about maybe sometimes about confidence and and just yeah, knowing where where we stand. And that changes, doesn't it? That has changed and evolved over, over the period of time. But really what is occurring in a group um, structure like that is you are responding and reacting to, to people in the group um, like you would do with members of your family, especially if your family aren't close by. You're either looking for that or you're reacting to that. And I have sort of, it's interesting, noticed almost, I'm away from my family, my family are in, in London. Um, I've noticed certain sort of dynamics and, and my interaction with um, some of the artists in the group, individuals in the group, that my responses are very, very similar to uh, how I would be with my brother or my sister or my cousin or even my mum and my dad. Um, so yeah, of course the friendships are there, but yeah, I've, I've started to recognize this, this sort of family sort of, um, you look for that, but in terms of friendships, yeah, again, for me, friendships, the, the, the fact that we haven't been able to meet together for me, that is where, and, and I guess I don't, I'm, I think most people being together face to face, being in each other's company, laughing together, joking together, do you know what I mean? Crying together, whatever, eating together, all those things together, together in each other's physical space is where the friendships really, really, do you know what I mean? Yeah. Come to come to the fore. We all know that as just yeah. as human nature. One of the things that that, that, that occurred to me was how, how, how different we are as well, how much we are strangers to each other as we are becoming friends. And that, that strangeness itself is, is quite an attractive thing. And to me, friendship sometimes is, is about uncovering the, the strangers within us, you know, and, and actually promotes our friendship develops and yeah. uh, brings okay. us uh, into this meander around each other to get us towards the goal, albeit a little bit slower, you know what I mean? But we're producing this other thing, this parallel, this, par uh, this, 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 this collaboration that allows us to be who we are. What do you think? Mm. Yeah, yeah, no, I agree. I agree. And um, I think what you just said there is key to allow us to be who we are, even though there is this, this distance and, and strangers, strangeness about ourselves, yet we have spent a lot of time just reflecting there. Like I probably have, like yourself, I've spent more time with, with individuals in this group than I have with talking to my own members of my family. Do you know what I mean? That's how that how sort of strong and uh, the frequency of, of meeting each other and being in each other's company in the, on this platform where, where there's no hierarchy, there's no leadership, there's no one more in charge or more in authority um, than anybody else. And we all have an equal, we all have an equal voice um, and and to be given a chance to, to express that is, is, is fundamental. Otherwise, we can't, like, what's the point of calling ourselves a collective, do you know what I mean? Or a group or just allowing people to, to have their, to have a chance to have their say is, is fundamental. Anyway, thank you so much, um, Antonio. Um, uh, I really appreciate you taking 
part in this and uh, giving me some insight into how in within our moments we are exercising support. Talk yeah, wonderful.